Sean, uh, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project. There are issues to be solved with most of them. We've made remarkable progress. He's definitely impressive. Yes, it's pushed our technology to the limit. We've gained some valuable insights in terms of both hardware and software. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? <coughs> hmm. Seriously, you really believe a human could love a synth? That's a difficult question. I suppose it depends on how closely we've managed to mimic human behavior and emotions. Yours is a unique position. You may be the only one that's truly able to answer these questions right now. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Sean? Our advances will in time change the world. I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. Hi. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. Hello, Mother. Enjoying your time. Excuse me. Perhaps someday our sins can reclaim the Commonwealth. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? Hmm. You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our model. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our sins perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. 
But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. Who are you? I'm Liam Benet. My father runs Synth Development, and everyone knows who you are. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in the railroad. And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. If you met them, trust me, you wouldn't be that impressed. They've eluded the SRB for decades. They've got to be incredible. With you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of Sins. At once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? Z-114, it's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. How do I know we can trust you? Mm. Who are you? My designation is Z-114. A simple maintenance synth. She's not from here. She's been helping our synths escape on the surface. It's safe. If you insist we speak in front of her, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, you want? The ones I know for certain. Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your sense to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure.
just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah, a head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. What do you need help with? Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Your plan makes me nervous. Z1 and I have been working on elements of this for years. The doors are the only thing stopping us. But finding the password is going to be tricky. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago. But some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. For helvede. Shit, we're scared now.
You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, ma'am. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. So, where do you put the batteries in this thing? What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B-592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? All right, let's go. Right behind you, ma'am. Holy crap. What is it? I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Hmm. Okay. Det lyder den nemt nok. Good. I'd like to avoid any unnecessary violence. I don't know. I was kind of hoping for a fight. Well, he might not be alone up there. Violence. She was psychic. That's all, man. Ready when you are. Come, sir. Let's go instead. Factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. Huh? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Well, that was shit, 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 shit. Take them out. Oh shit. We're gonna pay. Ah, take out the skate. What? What the hell? Tell that dude. Man, take his school. What is this shit? B-592, 
initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma 71 Epsilon. Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him. Take them out. Take my gun. This is my little friend. Say hello to my big friend. Lee Mousen. I mean, listen. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Hmm. Yeah. Her ma was cut. Her ma cut. Fair. Yeah. That was him. Hmm. Man. So fair. We can't. We can't. No. Hella. Ik. Hmm. You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us. And only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. You've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Mangatak.